What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. We have just made it here to Animal Kingdom. Excited for today. We've never experienced something like this. Um, I've only been to Disneyland in California and they don't have something like this over there. So it's going to be our first experience. We're going to go into the park and start exploring Animal Kingdom. So come along with us on another vlog. in Pandora. Let's just look at this. Okay, our first ride of the day is Flight of Passage because it's one of the most popular, if not the most popular ride here. The park just opened five minutes ago at 8 o'clock. It's 8.05 and it's already uh, looking pretty, pretty busy. As the day goes by, it's going to get even more busier, so we want to get this one out of the way first. But man, we're right here under the floating rocks. That is crazy. You're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. Start scan. <laughs> You've all got. Them. We just got out of that flight of passage, and wow, that was amazing. It thumbs up, honey. That, that was just crazy. Like the way that it operates, it, it feels like an animal, even when it lands, like your legs and it breathes, and then the smells of the ride. And then when you're like going through water, like it kind of like splashes you a little bit. It's just, it was just amazing. And then you want an avatar backpack? <laughs> that one's cool. Even the backpacks are themed here. This gift shop right here is also themed. Look at this. The attention to detail they put on here is amazing. You have built your own Navi bracelet or necklace for $19.99. Look at these uh, mugs or cups here. Flight of Passage, very nice. You got t-shirts. These are uh, Mountain Banshee with wing flapping action. So I guess you get them like this, and oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, this is a nice jacket. It's something that I would wear. This is uh, 60 bucks for this jacket. 40 bucks, you know, Pandora. Mm -hmm. We'll look around first, and then uh, probably at the end of the day come back. Mm -hmm. right here at Kilimanjaro Safaris so this is the other popular attraction so it's about a 40 minute wait species they only have seven vertebrae inside giraffe tongues are 18 inches long and they're a dark blue almost purple color see it when it gets close to us the arm the uh, armrests on either side of a rose sit about six feet from the ground <laughs> all right let's see where she's going helps them find the sources of sounds they hear around themselves but they have very poor eyesight
got out of the safari tour here. It took us about an hour and a half to get on. It was a very long line, but we did it. It was really nice. It was like a 20 minute on a ride, so it was nice. It was very bumpy. I tried to capture as much footage as I possibly could, the ones I included here, but it was very bumpy, so it might be all over the place. But now we're exploring the Gorilla Falls Trail here. Um, so let's check it out. This is the yellow backed Duiker. Weight 125 pounds to 175 pounds. Crazy. Probably some skulls from some animals here. And this desk here. So it's made to look all old and rusted. In the binoculars right there. Got some naked more rats here. doing is in Dino Land USA which is dinosaur. So I heard this ride is very similar to Indiana Jones down in California from Disneyland. So it's just like the same track I believe and the same car but it's just the dinosaur theme so let's see how it is. And some people say that it's pretty scary for some reason you know so go check it out. Cut off a dinosaur. Is that scary, honey? I thought it was scary. <laughs> I had to cover my ears because it was so loud. Yeah, it was loud, it was dark. And then the last part with the dinosaur came out. But uh, it was good. Now we're gonna head over and get our food. We mobile ordered uh, at one o'clock. It's 12.48, so we have about 20 minutes to go get our food. We got our food here from the Flame Tree Barbecue. We got some ribs, some chicken, coleslaw, some baked beans, and a drink. Why you got the same thing? We just finished eating. Well, it's actually pretty good. It was really good. It filled us up. And now we're here at the. It's tough to be a bug. Not sure what kind of show it is. Some um, something to do with bugs. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I think it's from a. It's a Bug Life movie. Thing about the tree of life here is that it's carved with animals. And here in the queue, where it's tough to be a bug, you can see it closer. But yeah, it's carved with all sorts of animals. We got more right here. What's the worst thing that can got bugs here. Yeah, and I show if you're scared of bugs, you might want to skip that one. <laughs> yeah, it was a good show though. It was, uh, we didn't know what to expect. It was kind of creepy if you don't like bugs. So we have a lightning lane for uh, Expedition Everest, but it's in about 10 minutes. So we have to wait about 10 minutes and then we'll be able to go in. The standby line right now, it's 60 minutes. So. We're getting burnt out here. Yeah, we're getting tan. That's the standby line right there. All right, while we wait, we came into the shop here right next to uh, Mount uh, Expedition Everest. Just to check out the merch here. Look at these mugs. Steam of the steam after the Mount uh, Expedition Everest, which is I think based on Mount Everest. Why are you checking out the ears right now? We got pins. Look at the sneaky one. Why we found this one? She says for our anniversary to remember our seven-year anniversary. Look at this. <laughs> 
All right, we are in the line for Expedition Everest. The queues are so themed. I love them. I really love the queues here. Hillary and Tenson, Norgay, first man to, sum to summit Mount Everest, May 29, 1953. That was, that was really fun. I think what got me was when it went backwards. So we wanted to eat originally here at Yak and Yeti, but there was no reservations at all today. And you need to have a reservation to eat there. But right now we're heading over back to Pandora because we're gonna go on Navi River journey. So we're gonna head over there, get on that. And then after that, we do wanna see the Lion King show at some point. So we'll probably go to the Lion King show after that. We just finished the Navi River. It was nice. It was more relaxing than anything. There's not like it's just very slow, and it's kind of short. But it was nice. It was beautiful in there. The, all the neon lights and stuff like that that they have inside, and then the Avatar animatronic. It's amazing. It's like huge. Uh, but now we're gonna go to see the Lion King, the Festival of Lion King. I think it's called the show. Hey, what are you doing? Slow down! Slow down! I'm supposed to be center stage. Look at me! I'm in a parade. <laughs> Hi everybody! Hey, Boomba, Timon! Look everyone, it's the Lion King! Welcome to the left, you're right on top! Out of the Lion King, the Festival of the Lion King, that show was so good. It was really good the acrobatics, the singing. It was probably my wife's favorite thing today, you would say. It was. Yeah. It brought my inner child out. Yeah. It was really good. The acrobatics, the singers, everything about it was it just it's like nostalgic. Now right now we're here at Starbucks getting a Starbucks. We we've been uh, drinking Starbucks like almost every day. It's a pretty cool Starbucks in here. Very uniquely uh, designed. We got our drinks, caramel frap as usual. This time I didn't put uh, whipped cream, but that's okay. It's still really good. And wifey is trying out the caramel cream, caramel cream one. Caramel. 
uh, caramel, strawberry cream. <laughs> I'm thinking about mine, and then she got a chocolate croissant. Emma! have come back over here to Pandora to really explore the land in the morning when we went to do Avatar Flight of Passage we just wanted to get that right out of the way before it got really packed um, but we didn't really get to explore the land because we were on to other rides after that and so we came back here it's almost nighttime in about 30 minutes all this is gonna be lit up and it's gonna look beautiful I know it and this is gorgeous here man so we just came back to explore get some shots just enjoy the land before it closes uh, the park closes in about an hour and a half so we want to Make sure we uh, we take advantage of this because we're not coming back to Animal Kingdom until probably next year or so. So gonna take it all in, man. There's so many sounds happening right now. The sound of the water right here. It's just gorgeous. Okay, it's about seven o'clock. It got pretty dark. Let's walk around and explore Pandora in the night and see how it looks. So that was Pandora at night. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Man, it's so, it's like with all the uh, neon lights, the lights, the everything, it just makes it look like a whole different vibe at nighttime. If you ever come here, make sure to stay till nighttime to check it out because it's a beautiful, beautiful sight, man. I, it's probably, and it was just gorgeous. So the last thing that we're gonna explore here in Animal Kingdom tonight, before they close in about 45 minutes, it's Africa. We wanted to check out Africa at night. One thing that I realized is that they're doing the, like the tree lighting at the Tree of Life and we completely missed that because we were in Pandora. But that's okay, we'll probably catch it next time. Yeah, we're just exploring here. There's nobody here <laughs> in Africa. So they're probably already getting ready to close. Like I said, they close in 45 minutes. We're starting to make our way out of the park. So this was our day today here at Animal Kingdom, our first time. Final thoughts, honey? Would you come back? Yeah. Yeah? I mean, yeah. I think it's nice, but like I told her earlier, I think it's like a, something that we could come, like if we were annual pass holders, we could come for like a few hours at night or something. It's not like an all day park. But then again, if we bring our girls next time, well, we, yeah, it'll be funner because they'll enjoy everything. I mean, Right. Like they'll be able to climb the, the dinosaur area and all that stuff. Yeah, they have like Dino Land. They have a big like jungle gym in there. So we will do it again, especially with the kids. I think it'll be funner. We enjoyed it overall. Pandora at night was beautiful. Everything here at night is beautiful here. But we're just gonna walk back to the car, guys. But that was it for our Animal Kingdom Day here in Orlando, Florida. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, do my favorite, hit the thumbs up button. Consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.